Welcome and this is the tutorial for the evaluation element of the WJCICT qualification. The first thing you are going to need to do for this qualification, it is worth 14 marks, so that is as much as two grades for your qualification. So it is massive and really, really important that you do it uh, to a high quality. So the first thing you're going to need to do is write an introduction. Now, what I suggest that you do is you have a look at the specification that you were given from the WJC and talk about the tasks that you were given. What task were you given? What did you need to do? What did you need to include? Uh, it's, if it's this year's qualification, it is about an app. Uh, you're asked to decide on an app, recreate the app, talk about the advantages of using the app, um, if you've redesigned it in any way, uh, what have you been asked to choose? What app have you chosen? If it's, for example, Spotify, why did you choose Spotify? What about it made you choose it? Once you've done the introduction, you then can focus on the evaluation of working practices. All right, so I don't want to have uh, a question and then an answer. You need to write full sentences. Now you're, you know, 15, 16 years old, full sentences, no, uh, you know, questions in there, just full on paragraphs of information would be recommended. So the first thing you can talk about is how you looked after yourself. Now, health and safety is really, really important. So you can talk about the fact that, you know, you every hour you'd have a regular break. Now, it's regular breaks, not just a break. It's important that it's regular. You'd be sitting upright, so you won't be slouching. So you'd maybe have an adjustable chair that you would use and that your head would be a 90 degree angle to the screen. You could talk about closing your blinds. You could talk about how you've looked after yourself in the pandemic. How have you made and adjusted at home? Have you had to get a, a desk so that you're not uh, lying on the bed and then arching your back? There's lots of things that because of the changes to the pandemic, you could actually include. Right, really, really important, especially because of the pandemic that you have looked after yourself and your qualification. So talk about it. It doesn't matter if you talk about negative things, what things have gone wrong. That's really good to put in an evaluation. So you can talk about the problems and how you've adjusted to them as well. The next part of the working practices is how you've looked after your work. Now, we do know we've had problems uh, because of the pandemic. You can talk about them. You know, we've had to upload onto OneDrive. We've had to move from our exam folders. We've had to, you know, work at home and then send things in over your, your Teams or your uh, Google Classroom, right? Talk about it. What are the problems you've had and how have you then managed to adjust and look after your work? It's okay to have negative things in there. You don't have to pretend that everything's been rosy because we all know it hasn't. Okay, but talk about regular backups. Talk about, you know, you've emailed copies to your teacher to have a version saved on e email. The teacher can save copies. What have you done? Naming your folders correctly. Uploading, it, uploading onto your OneDrive on a regular basis just in case there's another lockdown. You know, naming documents with relevant names so you can relocate work instead of saving someone as Doc 1 and then you need to go back to it or find it and you have no idea which one of the... It all takes time. So talk about how you've looked after your work. 